Hello and welcome. This is Titanium Rhino, and we are back with another episode of Elder Scrolls Online Somerset Edition. We left off here uh, getting ready to speak with Oriandra in the Right Master Study, so let's go ahead and pick up there and continue on with the main quest, see what's going on now. Oh, don't you know not to interrupt a sage when she's deep in concentration? I suppose the Right Master sent you to see how my research was coming along. I've listened to his memory over and over, and I examined every relevant tome I could find. Have you been able to identify the unknown language? Not yet. The Master of the House of Reveries sent me his work. It relates to a similar language seen in the ruins of Eben Stadmont, but I only understand a little of it. I wish Lathan was still one of us. He was our language expert. Lathan's an expert on ancient languages? Ancient languages and battle magic, to name just a few. Lathan betrayed us, and I don't trust him. But I've reached a dead end. We need help, <coughs> and he's the best option I can think of. Take the notes and show them to Lathan. What do we have to lose? I will take them I and show them, the then. I'll let Master know what I proposed. He may not like it, but he's always telling us to utilize every available resource. I think this qualifies. You'll find Lathan in Balsarin's study. See if you can convince him to translate the words. You really think he'll help I us? I have no idea, but it's worth a try. I know Lathan and the Right Master were friends. I don't believe Lathan would purposely try to harm Ikesis. On the other hand, if Lathan thinks that helping us will help his cause, he'll jump at the chance. Why do you think Lathan joined forces with Mafala? I suppose it had something to do with his daughter. Eldaway was a beautiful girl. Smart, sweet, and full of energy. She brightened the entire island. When she fell ill, Lathan and Valserin grew apart. It was how they dealt with the tragedy. Sigic Order couldn't save her? Don't you think we tried? The Right Master, Valserin, the entire Conclave. But nothing helped. She grew weaker and weaker, and then she was gone. Val threw herself into her work after that. Lathan just grew more distant. Shouldn't Valserin ask Lathan for this favor? I feel like this is going to go poorly. Like, no, because Valserin doesn't really care for him anymore at all. Only if you want to guarantee that Lathan <coughs> uses to help us. Haven't you seen them since they were reunited? Val wants to kill him, and Lathan hates her with a passion. They used to be so in love. Now it breaks my heart to see them like this. All right, well, goodbye. Books in the background are floating, though. Makes me feel like maybe Matilda's around here somewhere. Oh, on the bed. That's pretty cool. Hover bed. Like, uh... Russell Brand's Arthur. All right, and as per my usual, I'll keep the books on each page briefly. I'm probably not going to read all through them during the playthrough, but this way you can pause, read them at your leisure, and then continue on with the story. I don't really remember what we were doing last time. So. This attentive when our daughter actually needed you. Nathan, I. Oh, that's pretty harsh. I need to go check on the night anyway. Val, wait. Damn it. Yeah, foot and mouth disease here, dude. Magic can't cure that. The spinner's holy webs. When did I become an insufferable ass? Valserin didn't deserve that. Elderway was her daughter, too. Why am I talking to you about this? I know it isn't because I like you. Because I really don't. That's fine. I don't much care for you either. You kind of have a douchebag haircut. So, I understand you're good with languages. Is this some new attempt at interrogation? If so, I'm not familiar with the technique. Then it would be more impactful, well, wouldn't it? Along. Yes, I am a master linguist, specializing in ancient and obscure languages. Why do you ask? All right, Master, heard these words, but we can't translate them. You, they may point to the Tower Crystal, and you're going to help me. Intriguing. I've never seen this dialect before. I can translate it, but I need more to work with. I need to examine the original tablets found at Eben Stadmont. That will never happen, of course. 
You do remember I'm a prisoner here, don't you? I'll go and get chalk rubbings just like I did for the Falmer language in Skyrim. But, uh, just in case, what do you need to complete the translation? According to those notes, the writing is carved into a massive stone. Mm -hmm. I doubt you'd be able to carry it back here. All right, you've piqued my interest. Use this rune when you reach Evan Stadmont, and I'll be able to see what you see. That's a little more elegant solution than a paper rubbing. What does rune you gave me do exactly? Nothing nefarious, if that's what you're asking. Mm -hmm. Just enter the forest, find the obscure language, and use the rune so I can see what you see. It won't do anything beyond that, I assure you. Seems suspect. What can I expect to find at Ebenstadmont? the scribblings of this grand maestro forte, Spinner's Web, that's a pompous title. The forest is a maze filled with all kinds of beasts and daedra. As to the reason why, who can say? Sometimes a cursed wood is just a cursed wood. What's going on between you and Valserin? I don't see how that's relevant to our interactions. Not in the least. Still, my words were spiteful, meant to hurt her. There was no need for me to open old wounds. But why does this concern you? I'm your enemy. Are you too dense to see that? The simple fact that you recognize her as spiteful meant to hurt her and that there was no need to do it means you're somewhat regretful for doing it. Which means you're not entirely evil. However, I still don't trust you. Let's try the persuade. What happened to you and Val was horrible. I'm just trying to help. You and Ikesis, always sticking your noses into places they don't belong. <clears throat> I suppose I can appreciate that. But kindness won't help you in the coming war. Very well. I'll tell you this. Val loved our daughter, and our daughter loved Val. So why do you hate each other? Hate? I... I'm not sure what emotions I feel right now. But so there's still room for love. Dying, when she was crying for her mother's comfort, Val wasn't there. She was buried in her work, too busy or too frightened to spend those final moments with Ildaway. All right. I'm done talking to you. Back to Arteum. Where are we going now? Up in Stadmont. That's north of the island, I believe. A little bit of travel ahead of us, I think. I went ahead and hid the hood on my costume. I just... I don't know. I didn't care for it. Where are we going? Right there. So pretty close. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. loading screens man I feel bad I am gonna get some editing software to get the get rid of these get more gameplay it feels like it slows down the pace of the videos so those of you who have watched this please let me know in the comments what you think of the series so far what you think of this DLC in general I'm very much enjoying it I've got another character I've been playing through doing side missions with instead of doing main missions like I am with this character Oh good, unusually long load time. Um, some of the side missions are kind of fun. I think I found the... Sigic skill line? I'm not sure. I have to run all over the frickin' island to get there, but... Working on it. It's pretty entertaining. Got a 
level 37 warden that I'm using for it. as if I'm standing right next to you. I can feel the powerful magic that permeates this place. I sense a Daedric influence, but something that's far older than my Prince Bathala. Older than a Daedric Prince? What should I be looking for? The Maestro's notes said the ancient words were etched into a massive stone. I expect you'll need to travel deeper into the forest to find the exact location. I can't translate the words the right master heard until you find that stone. How do I find this massive stone covered in ancient writings? I feel like I'm looking for a massive stone with writing on it. But okay. I'm not your tour guide. Just pick a direction and start walking. Wait a moment. The Maestro's notes. There was a passage that might help. Something about crows. Maybe that would be enough to guide you. All right, I'll find the stone, but I don't like crows, so we'll see. And use the rune again when you locate the ancient writing. Refer to the book. Let's see, I gotta go navigate the Ebonstone Mount Forest. Okay. I'm gonna go through the portal. Why'd I have to go all the way down there to talk to him? I ran right past this thing. What am I? Oh. Well, that didn't. What'd that do? Where'd it go? Oh, right on the other side of the hedge. I got it. Okay. No growl. Another gate over here. Interesting location. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi. Alright, it says refer to the book. I'm going to take a look. My inventory quest items, see what we have. Oh, I got a lot of stuff. Oh, Lathan's Ruin. Grand Maestro's Research. I guess maybe I should have read this. Oh, no, my... the way when they when our paths go astray the towering trees block the way all right so towering trees blocking the way I assume that's probably what it's referring to look for a crow it's a butterfly and a squirrel that doesn't count I'm going to go fight this guy. Why is he dead? It's not fair. Too many people. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and wait. If he was respawned, I would have fought him. <clears throat> see, I don't see any crows around this gate. Oh, wait, no. Alright, right up there. Go double check the other gate real quick. Well, shoot. That one has two crows. Okay. The crows, plural. So we'll go in this one, see what happens. Somerset. Well, that spit me out up here. Okay, two crows. 
What is that? Oh, it's one of those things. Oh, hi. Hello again. I think it's time to finish reading more of that book. This one has three crows. A pair of crows to begin your search, then a lonely crow upon a perch. But it's not one or two that open the way the crows will have their say. So a pair of crows, then a lone crow. But it's not one or two, it's three. This one has three. The well was wrong all over the place. Lonely crow. But it's not one or two, so I'm going to say it's probably this one down here. I like these puzzles. They make me feel smart. This looks promising. Looks like somebody else has already been here. does the book say? Marston. <laughs> Three little kittens who lost their mittens. weren't too bad to figure out. for chests. Those both look broken down. That won't open. It's a body. Did I miss something? I think I'm in the right place. Research book to help navigate the forest. I navigated. Did I take a wrong turn? Did I only think I was intelligent? That's frustrating. So just start going through gates. Should I have gone through the single crow gate first? I didn't see any other gates on the way up to this Ebon Sanctum. Just by process of elimination going back, I'd end up coming through the three crow gate, which takes me back to the one crow gate option after that. Maybe. I don't know. I'm lost. This video may just be me running around the lost forest. Why does every game 
Every adventure game in creation have to have a lost forest. Where is that blasted mercenary beat? Oh, it brought me all the way out. Well, shoot. One crow. Is this guy alive yet? Should probably eat more food. Nope, he's dead. Alright, one crow just to give it a shot, see what happens. Oh, it brought me somewhere. I'm not sure where. What's that? That is three crows. Getting attacked? What's going on? Or is it just my salander, salamander making noises? So two wasn't the way to go. Not one, but two. Or not one or two, but... Okay. <clears throat> Give it a shot. See what happens. Ebon Sanctum. Have I not already been here? Am I going in circles? I'm pretty sure I haven't gone through this gate before. Use the rune, it says. Lone wolf. Okay, so apparently I got where I needed to go this time. What you think, Lathan? Found the inscription. No. Mm, not yet, but the inscription is nearby. Nocturnal's presence, yeah, that'd be the glow wolf. Though. Nocturnal's presence. Okay, what of it? I just have to go find the thing. Not sure why two counters are popping up for this, but as long as I get my invisibility. A lot of glow wolves. I'm not going to dick around with her either. Well, hi there, Lady Katrina. Ancient inscription. You found it. it looks straight out of uh, Fable right there. Something isn't right. I feel... Our connection breaking up. It's Nocturnal's Earl. Okay. Now that Lathan's gone, we can talk freely. I never expected to see you again. But you shouldn't have come here. These words of power, they aren't meant for mortal eyes. I'm an Earl in the court of Bedlam now. So believe me when I say that Lathan isn't being totally honest with you. Who are you? I forget. And who would have thunk Lathan wasn't being honest? From Balmora. Oh! They are Aleth. Uh, I want to say she was the, the chick that we had to rescue with the help of... Uh, oh, I can't think of her name now. Uh, what was her name? What was her name? I've, I've got... This is going to bother me. Costumes. Neryu. She was Neryu's apprentice. I never expected to see you again. That doesn't matter. What matters is that I want to maintain the balance of power among the Daedric Triad. If Lathan translates the language and gives Mephala the secret, she'll gain an advantage that could threaten my prince, Nocturnal. Sounds like the Triad of Daedric Princes isn't as united as we thought. Should never have saved your life. Speculate all you want. 
I'm here to give you a gift. Nocturnal has authorized me to provide you with the meaning of the mysterious phrase. It's in all our best interests for the right master to remember where he hid the heart of transparent lore. So what do the words mean? The phrase the right master remembers. The words he keeps hearing. It's a spell to retrieve something. When the time is right, you just need to Sorry. repeat the phrase to reveal accidentally the pulled off my mic. Alright, when... I'll let the right master know. how I'd feel if I saw you or Naru again. Balmora seems like a lifetime ago. And I am a new person since committing myself to nocturnal service. I wish you weren't involved in this matter. Does that mean you are a nightingale? You know exactly where and when to contact me, but how? Him is only as isolated as it allows itself to be. First, the Abyssal Pearl allowed the Sea Slowed and Mafala to invade the Sidjik Island. Then you took Lathan, an Earl in the Court of Bedlam, prisoner. We know your moves before you make them. What does the Triad of Daedric Princes hope to achieve? Our princes plan to do away with the laws imposed by other powers. They want to remake Nern, reshape it to better suit their every inclination. Of course, to do this, all obstacles must be cast aside, including the other Daedric Princes. Well, that sounds pretty evil to me. What, what does the Court of Bedlam get out of all of this? Evil. We wouldn't be a part of something that didn't add to the greater good. When uh -huh. our princes are done, war and sickness will be eradicated. There will be true peace. Under slavery. And godhood for the court, as befits beings of our stature. Uh-huh. You're supposed to be dead. Nario killed you in Balmora. Nario is a liar and a coward. She pretends to be a cold-hearted killer, but she couldn't bring herself to spill my blood. Instead, she sent me away. Shipped me off to protect me, she said. To save me. More likely, she just wanted to save herself. How did you wind up in the service of, of Nocturnal? I felt abandoned. Lost. That's when Nocturnal offered to comfort me. Not the Morag Tong. Not a Khajiit guardian. Not even you. Nocturnal gave me a purpose and a family. She gave me something to believe in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. I bent over backwards to save you. Although, now that I think about it, I might have told Nariu to kill you and you didn't deserve to live. Okay, I, I, I will accept that. Moving on. You know we're going to stop the triad of Daedric Princes, don't you? Belief doesn't make something true. You stopped me once, but I'm stronger now. More powerful. So am I. As for the princes, you're barely a speck on a flea that gets casually brushed aside after a minor irritation. Except I took out Mola Ball. This only ends one way. Pretty high talk from somebody who got beat by somebody who beat Mola Ball. So yeah. Good luck. What does it try? Uh, we already, already done that. All right. Tell the right master. It's a spell of retrieval. Well, all right. I've re-established my connection to the rune. Tell me what Nocturnal's Earl said to you. I can't believe Nocturnal's Earl interfered like that. We're supposed to be allies. Why would she want to stop me from reading that ancient inscription? Why are you lying to me? A spell. Interesting. And somehow connected to the Right Master's forgotten hiding place. I wonder why Nocturnal decided to share this information. She isn't usually the most forthcoming of the court's esteemed princes. Nocturnal's Earl also indicated that you've been informing the court of our plans. Right. I told them to interrupt my research before I could unravel an ancient and powerful language. Look, you should come back to Kapura Tower now. The right master wants to hear everything my associate shared with you. And frankly, so do I. I'll return to Artem as soon as I can, but I just you're not my boss. A few moments studying that inscription. So let's see, do I have to go backwards or can I go forwards? Nope, I can go forwards. Back to Somerset. Yay, more loading screens. 
At least it's a pretty one. I actually don't do anything in my guild anymore. I put up some items to sell once in a while, but that's about it. I am part of a trading guild, so that's nice. It's easy to make money when I decide to post stuff to sell. But uh, it's not how I want to spend my time in this game. I don't really feel like farming for gold. I don't really get much use out of the gold. I'd rather get crowns. You can't really farm for crowns unless you're a farmer, which you get paid to do, and then you use that money that you get paid farming to buy crowns. Okay, we're back here. I was trying to figure out where we were. Back to Kapora Tower. Let's go, Cinder. Let's go. You're so slow. Even though your speed's maxed out, you're slow. Although I do appreciate the option to fast travel. It makes this a much more pleasant game. Well, I feel like with a map this big, if you couldn't fast travel, it would be really, really inconvenient.